We just wrapped up our second phase of work here at this residence in Petaluma and a little bit different uh, process here. Um, we're dealing with some continuing water restrictions. So our master plan for this project um, incorporated a lawn, which you can see right now is just been uh, mulched over um, and waiting for water restrictions to ease here. And hopefully we have a, a wet winter that facilitates this. But what we've done in the interim is we redid hardscape here and did uh, some perimeter plantings here. So let's take a quick look at those. So along our perimeters of our future lawn space, um, we can see some nice, uh, some nice new plantings there. We've got a dry laid bluestone seating area here as kind of a secondary area off the main patio. And the main patio that was here um, was an old kind of orangish concrete um, uh, patio and little seat wall that didn't fit, um, you know, didn't fit with the new kind of color palette um, at the house. So what we did was we stripped um, the existing um, tile and concrete uh, from this back porch and extended out a new patio space and this is Kronos bluestone tile that was installed here and then we resurfaced this back porch uh, with, with matching Kronos and uh, made this step here a little bit more gracious. So you can see how nicely that Kronos tile uh, blends in with that, um, with that natural bluestone uh, flagstone that's over there in the corner. And then along the perimeter of the uh, garden, so we planted those out, and then over here we've got a couple of um, new Corten Steel vegetable boxes that are kind of coming to the end of their season. And then we can see some camellias and Japanese maples, coral bells and hostas that we planted within here. And then over on the side yard what we did was um, installed some blue pathway finds and then put in some new vines um, at the fence and some new training wires that will allow this area, this is a combination of passion, passion flower and creeping fig. So kind of cleaned up this area and give some nice vines that'll uh, really make this fence look good. So that was this project here in Petaluma.